Right. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! What's going on, y'all? Today, we're going to be working on the slow RS again. Do you hear that? Mm -mm. Oh, shit, the mailbox. There's something oh, in the mailbox. Shit. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, there it is! They ordered it! Fresh. Off the press. Off the press. Hot off the press. What is this shit called again? A bird kit? Yeah, we're going to be installing the PLM brake brace master cylinder. Or the master cylinder brace, one or the other. You choose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a box you're going to get. Not with this stuff on there, but just a black box. What's in the black box, you ask? I'll show you. Nothing but good stuff. Mm -hmm. The brace itself. <laughs> and then the uh, hardware to go along with it. Yeah. Thanks for microfiber. Up. Yeah, yeah, make that look yeah. good before I, we start I don't want people these. to think it's dirty. Like, I don't want them to be like, yo, you have a, an ashy battery. Because I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. My battery's not even that ashy. I mean, just look at it. It's, it's not that bad. Are you sure about that? Well, okay. Well, we'll start recording. You can be over there, and I'll be right here, and I'll give you the stuff. That way I cover it. Thanks. I appreciate it. So, let me just clean up all of it. Yeah. All right, there yeah. we go. That's where it goes, right, though, before we start recording? Well. No, it goes, like, right there and right there, because that's where we need a brace. Is it? Or is it this plastic bottle? Sure. I think we should watch a YouTube video. Shit. Rad Stowe probably has it on his channel. You're right. Let's go peep it. So, I think this goes something like that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you know what this does? No, I do not actually. Let me show you. Okay. Here you go. All right, so I don't know if you can see that right there, but this moves ever so slightly. And then what this piece right here does, it's gonna sit just like that. Keep that from moving. It's gonna give him a better pedal feeling on his brakes. This bolt's gonna get removed. And from factory, they cover up these two holes. Boom. One's a square and one's a circle. You're going to use the circle one. I am going to just go through the circle just to keep the factory uh, coverings. But it sits like that. Just like that. And then you'll take a 13 mil, just like that, and then adjust that green part as need be. And then lock it down with the nut. So first steps first is to remove this triangular brace. Um, it just gives you a little bit more work area. Three nuts and one bolt. This isn't working, dude. Oh, it's a 12 millimeter. Jeez. Do we have anything that can speed this up? Oh, shit, we have tools. Do you have a socket for this? Sure do. Oh, say less. I sure do. Perfect. Nice. Just like that. Yeah, there we go. Put the torque on, on everything else. Right, thanks. Nice. All right. Hey, uh, Diaz, there's a tool right over there that you could oh, use. There. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I finished with it. Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Nice. You should be able to get with that. That, that works a lot better. Actually. It does, because it has like a little extension on it too. Yeah, exactly, like torque who? Oh, it's got a light on it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you press this and the light comes on. Dope, dope, dope. Uh-huh, pretty cool, huh? Big thing in working on cars, invest in good tools because it makes the job so much easier. Huh, what was that? You know, if you click this, Look, check this out, check this out. Are you? Yeah. What? The light so, was going out. And what I brand? This. What is this? Mill. Mil, Mill. Mil, uh, Milwaukee? Mil, so, yeah, yeah. if you get this brand, they probably have a secret hack. Did you, like, Joe break no, this thing or something? No, put this on TikTok. Yo, honestly. <laughs> TikTok life hack. So, yeah. Th that's crazy. That is. I thought that was just for the And light. it removes the bolt. Yeah, hold on. Flip that thing. Click it again. 
Oh! You can tighten bolts down with this? Yo, that's cool. That's cool. Invest in Milwaukee. Sponsor us. Please. All right. Hope you all enjoyed that. But in all seriousness, come down here. There's going to be two nuts right there, a nut right there, a bolt right there that I just take off. You don't need to remove this, but it definitely helps. And then down there, there's going to be a 10 mil. So you're going to have to use the included hardware, which is going to be long enough, like so. And then we're going to put this in there, mock it up, and take a screwdriver, poke a hole through that piece that's right there. You're just going to leave it on there. Might as well. I'm gonna poke this hole right here, just there you like go. so. Boom. And then you can see that you're gonna use that second hole right there. And I believe that might already be threaded. We'll find out. Let y'all know. So, uh, poking through the uh, little plastic cover, it makes it kind of difficult to get to the hole for it to thread in, but just a little a range of screwdrivers kind of helped it out just to push that hole properly so that that cover is fully pushed through. Then you can thread it in by hand. Um, I like to thread it in by hand first. That way, when you drop this down, you kind of know it's going in properly and not cross-threading. So yeah, now we're gonna install this and then uh, we'll start adjusting it for the brake support. So, you don't want it too much against the master cylinder. But you want it there so that that doesn't move. You'll have a better feel on your pedal. So, Almost like so. And then both of those are going to be 13 mil. Yep. So I'm just going to... Seems about right. Yep, extend that green piece. Lock it down with the nut. Lock the lock nut. Boom. That's it. And now, I'm going to go give it the old brake pedal test. And you guys tell me if it moves. Might have to play around with this a little bit. Um, just adjust to where the pedal feels good. Uh, just keep in mind that unless you're seriously tracking the car, like myself, of course. True. Um, <laughs> you don't want it like super tight. Uh, just when you go for the brake feel, you'll see that this uh, whole cylinder does not move forward anymore. It kind of just flexes against the strut tower. Um, might not need to be that tight for daily driving, but this works for me. So yeah, just reinstall the triangular brace. Then you, you got yourself a go fast mod <laughs> or a, a stop fast mod stop at least. Fast. Yeah. So definitely if you got a few bucks laying around, it's worth the buy for track use, especially, but daily spirited driving, Speed of course, limit. speed limits, but yeah. I yeah. think it's worth it. I would say it's worth it too. Definitely worth the money. But that's going to do it for today's video. Catch y'all in the next one. Later. Later.